Look at sunrise. Let's turn the lights out, see what happens. We are now in black light mode. Let's turn it off. Hide, hide, hide away. Bad children not to be punished. This is what we're going to be making today from start to finish. Let's get crafting. This video is brought to you by Puppet Master Academy. Puppet making just got better. See you there. Now before we get started, I really do want to tell you about Puppet Master Academy. Please click up there because right there you can learn you can learn mechanics like a stomach hatch on how to build fantastic puppet bases. I got some new ones coming there. Moving puppet eyes. Puppet Master Academy. A moving torso as well. Okay, so we are going to be making the daycare attendant. Sunrise, moon drop. All in one. With the magic of glow paint. Alright, so for this I'm going to be using a compass. This uh, geometry set what I have here basically the same kind that you probably have in school and that's what we are using and you're gonna find out why these things are so important we can draw a perfect circle and mark the exact center at the same time and I got this for about two dollars at the dollar store it's not bad all right, so I just want to make sure I'm not going, going to go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw our circle. So we're going to press down on the cardboard here and we're going to trace our circle. You don't have to press hard. You just want to be able to see it. You press hard, you might move it because well, this one does not have a lock. You can't lock it. So I gotta be careful. And yes, I will uh, draw that with a permanent marker so you can see it better. All right. It's, okay. it's not a bad idea to go the opposite direction just to make sure. Because we'll actually make it a little bit darker. We're going around the earth like the sun. There we go. And you can see this little dot here. That little hole there. That is actually a really big deal. Because, oh, you cannot see. This tiny little hole is a really big deal. Because that is your exact center. You don't have to measure. It, you, you cannot get more exact than that. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to just trace all this around with a permanent marker so you can see. It doesn't get more perfect than that and you should be able to see this exact center. I want to mark the back. I want to poke a hole right through it I want because uh, I had an idea for it. You will see and knowing the exact center is going to be extremely important. Now that's... There we go. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to, to make the... Uh, I don't know, the point. This is uh, the sun, this is sunrise's uh, half here, and he has nine. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna cut out nine triangles, and they should be they should be about icicle shaped almost. You would call the this an isosceles triangle in mathematical terms. All right. So you should now have nine triangles of the same size. 
So let's get them on to the face. We're gonna cut, we're gonna trace out another one of another one because uh, we aren't gonna be using. We're gonna need this. So it's a really good idea to lay out your pieces first. So want to make sure this is all going to actually fit. When you are using hot glue, please wear gloves like I am so you don't burn yourself. Please. Okay, so I think we have it pretty good now. It's just a little bit off the table. But yeah, this is about how I want it now. Whoop! I gotta slide this. So we're gonna start gluing them in. Oh, let's get the glue gun rolling. Glue a circle inside just so we can raise it up a little bit. Otherwise, for this could just warp. There. I'm actually going to put in another one. I want it raised up just a little bit. So we're going to need another circle. Okay. Now we are going to need to actually draw on the face. Well, we just need to draw on the moon side anyway. And the cow jumped over the moon. I'm not there. All right, so we're now, yes, I know I'm made a lot. I should have done this in pencil first before I uh, drew it over, but anyway, I know where I'm supposed to cut. It's basically moon's face or moon drops face, whatever. It is a moon face, so don't hurt me, please. Remember, when you are using scissors or sharp objects always cut away from yourselves because they are very sharp that includes your fingers so obviously we're going to keep all the pieces that we cut out because this will be important so now we're going to cut out the moon's face and i will hang on to that just in case now we're going to glue that on our side. And it should be a perfect fit. Whoop! Look at that. Couldn't have, couldn't have worked out better than that. So we're going to glue that on. Yeah, you know, that was kind of fun. And we need to raise this area up here too. And I'll show you where you need to put the eye, blah, 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 blah. Let's get gluing. So let's get gluing. So make sure it is positioned the way you want it to. That's looking good here. Oh, this, I can really see his face now. You know what? I'm actually having fun right now because this is such a unique. Oh, this is going to be such a unique creation here. Oh boy, we're getting progress. Progress. That's, un that's excellent. So we're going to raise this area here. So I'm just going to cut a piece of cardboard to go over it. So if you need help, if you need to like make a little stencil, I just take a piece of wax paper here. And I can just trace it out, cut it, and then you'll have your shape.
Okay, actually, the next thing we're going to add are the cheeks. And I'm going to use styrofoam back. So it can be tricky when cutting styrofoam. So be careful when you're doing this. And we're going to glue the cheeks accordingly. Now there is a trick and just above, okay, I actually want to lower this because the eyes are actually going to be going inside there. Now when you are gluing, hey, I'm just going to trace around here so I don't lose my spot. Very nice. So I just so I just noticed that the uh, nose is actually supposed to come out here a little bit more. This is why we kept that piece just in case we need to fix something. So this actually needs to come out. Let's just get this. So if you make a mistake, this is why we keep this piece here. Okay. Just remember, we're going to be paper mache and all this, we're, we're going to hide our mistake. And we're just going to cut this part out right here. Okay, so I just need to glue that and I need to trim this part right there. Cause I don't want Baldy to walk in here. I really don't. So when you are gluing on styrofoam, put glue on the surface area first, not on the styrofoam directly cause it will melt. <sighs> Give it a uh, few seconds to cool down a little bit and then you can just set it right into place. Very good. And we need to get the eyes in. So he's got one eye just above his cheek here. So for the eyes, before I cut the eye holes, I'm going to grab a styrofoam ball that's just a little bit smaller than this. And we're going to cut it. Okay, that should be good. And he's got eyes just right about. Oh yes, that's actually that's actually quite good. It's just not too far off from his cheek, and I think I actually have it just perfect. So I'm gonna draw. Hole, I'm just gonna draw a line where I want to place the eyes, and we're gonna cut a hole a little bit bigger. Yeah, I want, I want to be able to actually pop these in and... Okay, now what we want to do is we want to actually cut a hole. We want to actually be able to sink the eyes down a little bit. This will just, uh... This will help separate it from the cheek. So we're going to cut the eyes out. Just remember to cut away from yourself. Okay, now we're going to just use some kind of tool to take that out. I got a flat screwdriver. We'll do a good job. Actually, a paint can opener might. Oh yeah, actually this works good. That's all right, eh? We're going to just trace around here and we're just going to cut. We're just going to cut that shape, but we're going to cut the outside. I'll show you. Now we're going to cut the inside out. We just want the, uh, the corners. We are making the uh, mouth, I guess. So 
And we're just gonna glue it. Better idea, I think. We'll do this. And we'll glue this on top. And then we'll just paper mache the teeth in. I'm gonna try that. This is a really messy part. So we're gonna be doing paper mache. I'm using white glue and water mixture, one parts to one. And I'll be using toilet paper and we're just gonna cover this up. Oh, I think this could maybe use four layers. I want this to be, I want this to be noticeably awesome. <laughs> So you just brush on the surface area, you take your tissue, and you put glue, um, you put your tissue on top and then you put glue over it. And then you do the same thing with the next layer. You put tissue on top, and then you brush glue over it. You do that until you have about three or four layers. Okay, so you'll notice on it, I drew some circles on here. These are where the craters are. I'm going to drill them out with the Dremel. But we still need to add some cardboard. So we need to add a piece here. And a piece right about there. So let's glue them into place. Okay, so let's start painting. All that's left is the glow paint, so I'm just putting the glow paint on the moon side of the face. Alright, and this is what you should have. So as you can see, the glow paint is only on the moon side. And we're going to turn out the lights. Okay, right now it, we are under black lights here. You can already see it. You can actually kind of see it a little better. Now you can make a sleeping cap if you want. That's entirely up to you. That's entirely up to you. Let's turn off the lights.
Hide, hide, hide away. Knock, knock. Oh, that is just... This turned out great. I'm actually very impressed. I'm not sure how well you can see the eyes, but the eyes actually... Yeah, there you go. All right, and that's what you should have. Two personalities, one mask. That's killing two stones with one bird. So there you go. Be sure to check out Puppet Master Academy. You can learn to build stuff like this, this body bay, a stomach hatch. You can even learn moving puppet eyes coming to the Puppet Master Academy. So please uh, click up here, click up there. It'll take you right to the Puppet Master Academy. I would love to have you as a student. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Good night. Hey, check this out. Whee! Whee! Fun. See you all next time.